Hello, this is Adam from Together Audio. In the following video, we'll be going through the different effects parameters in ReformFX. Remember you can get the plugin as a free demo from our website to try it out. Let's begin. Okay, so let's now go through every effect panel, talking about each of the parameters. I have prepared a few loops here that will work well with the effects. So first there's the compressor with familiar threshold ratio and attack controls. And this features an auto makeup gain, so as the compression becomes deeper, more makeup gain is applied to preserve the loudness. Next we have filter 1, which can be either 2-pole or 4-pole, and each of these features five modes. Low pass, high pass, band pass, notch and peak. The frequency will set either the cutoff frequency or the center frequency for band pass, notch and peak filters. And resonance will accentuate the frequencies around the cutoff for high pass and low pass modes and the width of the band for band pass, notch and peak modes. Let's listen. Next, let's move to the distortion. We have two modes uh, in the distortion panel, the drive shaper distortion and the wave folder distortion. Each of these will suit uh, different sounds, so you have to check which one you like better for a given loop. For each of these, we have the input gain, the drive amount, the output gain, and the mix. Let's now modulate the input gain and drive with a sort of freeform shape. And here what's going on. And later I will apply the output gain, but in reverse. So as the input gain and drive go higher, the output gain will go lower to compensate uh, the volume so the drive doesn't get too loud. Also, we have the mix control where you can mix in the overdriven signal with your dry one. Now let's move on to the formant filter. The formant filter is a type of filter that will influence uh, the bands so that they resemble human vowel formants. We have a range of formants from bass through alto, tenor and soprano formants for all the vowels. And you can choose two and mix between them with the balance control. And the mix control will mix the filter signal with the dry one. Let's try it with full mix and listen to the formants. So this is great for pads, strings, but you can also try it across a, a range of sounds for some cool vocal effects. And here is the pipe model, an effect we are particularly proud of. It models a pipe or a tube 
which has a pitched resonance that you can put your sound through and it will resonate. The resonance uh, pitch is controlled with pitch knob. There is the damping control which you must open for it to start resonating. And the internal feedback and coupling controls will change the sound of the pitch resonance. Also, there is a built-in limiter to protect your speakers in case the resonances get too loud. And the knob controls the input gain of the limiter so you can use it uh, to increase loudness of your loop. And as with most of the panels, you can mix the pipe model signal with the dry incoming signal. Let's listen. Then we have filter 2, which offers two modes, a butterworth filter and a driven low pass. The butterworth filter offers low pass and high pass modes. The difference between this and filter 1 is that you get an additional drive control for both filters and a mix control so you can mix in the filter signal with the original one. Here we have the stereo delay, where you can set the delay times for both the left and right channels independently, a feedback control that will determine the length of the delay reflection tail, which also goes in reverse for reverse polarity feedback path, and a low-pass filter for making the reflections darker, and a standard mix control. And here's our great sounding reverb processor with reverb decay time, room size, damping determining the brightness of the reverb tail, and the pre delay time along with a pre delay mix where you can mix the first reflection of the, of the reverb, and a mix control which you can modulate using the freeform shape. The output panel features a pan control, which you can also modulate using the freeform shape for panning effects. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us over Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Also keep an eye out for new content on our website and our social media channels.